hello every person, and welcome to the most badass DLC ever created, Series Sam 3 BFE Jewel Denial Redux, Suka. Alright, that's my stupid accent, let's just get a roll, get a move on. Yeah, so the co-op secret requires you to pick up that pill and also to ring a doorbell that spawns after you pick it up. The doorbell's right up at the very beginning, so just gonna grab the cannon, grab this ammo, ring it. And you might be wondering, okay, well cool, what does that do? Well, later on in the level you'll find some small little outposts that have some C4 inside of them, which is very, very useful as you can imagine. Also, the laser is an official weapon, of course, so we're just gonna roll with it. So is the sniper. Get them both fairly early. Of course, the early assault rifle is brand new to co op. You're not gonna find that normally. Ow. Damn, boy. Yeah, so the outposts I was referring to, a oh, help a sec, are these. There's three of them in total, and each of them contain three C4 charges, so have fun. That's my only advice. Yeah, and again, it only says you get two because one of them registers as a new weapon. Really weird, but that's how it is. Alright, now get ready for a lot of hit scanners. And we're just gonna waltz on through, killing everything in our path. Not afraid of these punks. Also got the world's slowest scrapjack. And I know I'm kind of going out of order, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna grab this. Kill the Witch Bride. Grab the Assault Rifle and do this fight, and then I'll go back for all the other secrets I missed. Do be aware that there is that uh, one flanking kamikaze back there. Get rid of you, Mr. Reptiloid. Also, that kamikaze tries to flank from behind. Yeah, just kill him. Where? Oh. Yeah, if you grab this stuff, it will spawn in some clears. I'll just use the laser to clear up the area a bit. Gotta get rid of all these stupid trees, you know? I think whoever designed this place went a little overboard with them. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the fight. Not too bad. And if you go over here, you'll spawn in a Biomech. Coming up here, you can get the ammo. Very nice. Speaking of ammo, there is some secret ammo over here. Go and grab that. Then let's pay the frustrated kamikaze a visit just to upset him even further, push him to the brink. That's kind of fucked up, actually, if you think about it. You're basically just assisting in his suicide. 
by paying him a visit. That's so fucked. <laughs> Then again, you're technically assisting in every kamikaze suicide whenever you kill one, so yeah, I guess fair enough. Grab these C4 charges. Yeah, that's the second one of these, and the third one is a little later. You'll know when you see it. So we're just gonna pick up all the ammo and continue. Oh, no you don't. Don't got too much to say here, it's just good old fashioned corridor shooting. Oh yeah, with these reptiloids. Spice things up. Okay, you know what, I'm actually gonna switch to the rocket launcher and just spam. Because there's lots of NARS, lots of clears, all kind of clustered up, coming down the same path. So, hopefully they'll walk into it. Take heaps of damage while in the process. Oh yeah, and you do see that, right? There is just a gigantic canoe at the end there. But, I have some C4, so I think that's gonna be good. I'll save it for when it gets close, because one canoe, not that bad. Alright, wasted all my rocket ammo, let's switch to the laser gun. Uh, I thought that would have killed him. I did get the other clear though that was way in the back. Where are you going? It's so weird. Alright, another fight. I think I'll use up my laser ammo because I have so much of it in comparison. Again, mini mix of the most dangerous, so let's take them out. Cool. And behind this building, you will find another secret. Yeah, all the maps have about two to three new secrets. This is the only one that has upwards of nine, I think. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure the exact number of new secrets, but there's a lot. That's all I got. He's just sitting there, menacingly. Oh my goodness. Just gotta wait here for a bit, let all the projectiles pass. Okay. I think we're good. This area is 100% brand new, as in Series Mario created it from scratch and put it in the level. And you know what? Looks pretty good. I like it. Looks like something that would officially be there. 
it's not like other mods that enhance environments or anything where you go in and it's like you could tell it's modded in like this actually feels like something that crow team might have actually put here had they taken more time with the game there's that secret and also here's the third container which we could actually use to blow open the gates early and might as well not really a reason not to Oh, and look at that. Game just flat out gives you a cannon. That's how you know it's going to be good. Of course, that's a co op ammo spawn. Co op weapon and ammo spawn. Also, there's a clear that gets stuck in here every single time. And I do mean every single time. Hopefully, Sirius tomorrow watches this video and fixes it. Yeah, this fight's very, very fun. Just good old laser gun, bowl through clears and wearables. Honestly, if Sirius Saint 4 didn't have the flocking system in place for its enemies, I think the combat would feel just as good. If not better, maybe. Yeah, the flocking that I'm talking about is where enemies will actually try to spread out. Whenever you spawn them in like a giant number, they don't just congeal together, they try to spread out. By the way, here's a clear I'm talking about. Sometimes he frees himself, sometimes he doesn't. Yeah, there. I'm actually gonna take a screenshot of that ammo pile. Or, not ammo pile, whatever that is. Just to show it off. Hopefully... Show it to Sirius tomorrow before the video even gets released. Said it'll be fixed by the time you lovely people get around to playing this. Oh yeah, yeah, and there's like some dialogue here. I'll be real, I honestly really like Quinn as a character in this game, both in the DLC and also base series M3. I know she doesn't really have like that big of a presence, but it's kind of nice that she's like the only person you hear from consistently in the game, whereas all the other characters just die. You know, it kind of makes the relationship between you and Sam actually seem not like a bit more palpable, you know, like something that might actually be realistic, like, okay, that's the person that you hear from about what's going on around you, but you're still a one-man army. Sadly, in Serious Saint 4, they kind of did away with that whole one-man army thing and were like, oh, you and the army. It's like, uh, I don't care about that. Like, <laughs> Get out of here. Oh yeah, yeah, and of course, what would a C4 crate be without a C4 fight to go with it? Oh, it's so beautiful. And Reptiloid, the Kamikazes... Wait, in Reptiloid. I meant to say in co-op, the Reptiloid and Kamikazes are brand new. Gosh. I cannot talk. If you guys wonder why I don't like doing commentaries, that's why. I make myself sound like an idiot every time I open my mouth. Oh yeah, let's also go ahead and trigger the spider. You don't really get anything for it, it's not a secret, but it is pretty fun, regardless. What is fun, though, is when you try to leave the military base. Surprise! 
Yeah, these guys are just waiting for you. <laughs> and while they get mowed down by the minigun turrets, let's focus on some of these harpies. Let me zoom in a bit further. Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, and also, this Kanoom is supposed to do this in BFE, but he just never does. So it's good to see that the breakable wall actually got implemented again. Alright, and I'm gonna disable the turrets and do this myself. Uh, where are they going? Such weird enemies. Where are you going? What the fuck? They're so weird. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Uh, yeah, I might as well just hop up on C4. I don't see why not. If the game gives you an ammo crate, might as well use it. There's no secrets in these little side areas, but... Uh, great, someone's at the door. Hopefully my roommate will get that. Yeah, I know that there's a reason I saved cannonballs, and it's for you. And you. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I got it. I think. I hope. No, I didn't? What? Bullshit. Boo. Okay, grab some more supplies, and then we'll continue to the other area. Oh, wait. I forgot this is here. Yeah. Get that reptiloid. Okay, now we can continue. Also, did I already raid this house? Yeah, okay. My short-term memory is something else, I'm telling you. <laughs> Come for the temple stay aliens and explosions. And this. Oh, baby. I missed it. Don't forget the devastator. But we're not gonna use it. We'll actually stick with C4 because there's a classic secret. Yeah, secret bloodbath. You guys in TSE know what I'm talking about. You know what this is. Well, it's not over yet. Yeah, you get three scrap decks to contend with as well. Fun stuff. Especially because blowing them up feels so damn good. Okay. So, big health, I will save that for later, in case I need it. Also, raid this house. For some goodies. Okay, we're good. Let's do this. And it is a pretty difficult fight, not gonna lie. But it starts off easy enough. You just run in, kill the bad guys, spam some rockets their way, snipe the big guys in the back. 
and occasionally whip out the Devastator or minigun as needed. Like right by now sounds kind of good. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why my game lagged so hard right there, but then. Yeah, that is a tough fight, but also very fun. And we still have some minigun ammo left over. That's nice. And I don't think I'm coming back here, so you know what that means. Yoink. Just grab this shit. Grab the helmets. And do a once-over. Let me see if I got everything. Oh, it's armor. Sneaky. And there's also a secret back there. Uh, let me pick this stuff up first. Then I'll explore it. Yeah, you get some cannonballs, which are always good. As well as an armor pickup. And you get met with two giant scorpions. Cool. Yeah, I knew that there was a C4 brick that I left back there. Alright, Major, you are a pain in the ass. Time to go. Oh, I saw that. I think we can chill with the super shotgun for a little bit. Okay, maybe chill with the super shotgun isn't the right thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Except for that, that looks too good to pass up. Also taking way too much damage. Yeah, clear some serious M3 definitely or something else. <laughs> I'll just say that. Yeah, I do want to save the cannonballs for the final, final fight, because that one is also very tricky.
All right. I think that's this area cleared. So now we can finally push forward, make some progress. Oh, never mind. There are these guys, of course. Oh, and also a witch bride. How evil. Yeah, get that thing out of here. Ow, what? Where is it? Oh, right there. Alright, have a rocket. And while you're doing that, I will go for this secret. And also do part of the co-op secret. Yeah, so the co-op secrets, if you haven't noticed, usually revolve around doing a chain of events throughout the map, so... This is the first one, basically when you're in here. Also, I might as well trigger this dialogue too, since it's kind of unique. You hardly ever hear it. way with hordes of rocket launchers. That's such a good line. <laughs> I know people say it like the DLC dialogue is kind of cringy, but like aside from like the weird recording, I actually think some of the dialogue is pretty good. Like, then I might way with rocket launchers. What the fuck? <laughs> I also really like the more fleshed out banter between him and Quinn in this. It's kind of cool. Actually makes you feel like they are working together on comms instead of just her being like exposition dump and Sam going like shit or something. I know I'd say cannonballs, but for him I'll make an exception. this annoying guy. Oh, there you are. I saw you, Pinky Thing. Whoa, what? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Why is that so loud? <laughs> oh my goodness. That was insanely loud. It was just like oh, shit, shit, behind me. Wait, why didn't the scrapjacks up here spawn in? Unless they did and they were attacking me. But I don't think that's the case. Usually there's two scrapjacks that just sit there and guard the entrance. Interesting. Yeah, I guess no time to dwell on it. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to get all kills anyway in this map, but we'll see. Yeah, just killed these clears, go get the old super shotgun prepped and ready. 
Also, anything in here? Some armor shards. Okay, that's good. Alright, there's some annoying space monkeys, and also those, which are the most dangerous. Actually, you know what else is really dangerous? It's a giant ass biomech. And also, these scrapjacks are really annoying too. At least I got line of sight on that one. Okay, scrapjacks are down. Now I just have to kill you without getting blown up by splash damage. Good. He decided that he didn't want to fire. I'm all for it. Okay. And I know you guys know about there being a special secret, but I'm still going to open up the main gates because it's part of the co-op secret. You do have to actually visit it. And for those of you uninformed of what exactly I'm talking about, you'll see pretty soon. So if you go behind this, there's a little button that you can press. Button? But button? I don't know. Anyway... Press those two, it activates these levers, and it lets you do exactly what you'd expect. It lets you speedrun through all the shit to go into here, so you can pick up the statue, collect some ammo, look up, get some cannonballs, and if you go to this one, you'll find a special thing. That doesn't look like it belongs. Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? Eh, sure, why not? Let's do it. Yeah, so that is apparently a reference to Hexen, which is Sirius Amaro's favorite game. I know I didn't see that coming either. But whatever. I never played Hexen, so I don't really know much about it other than the fact that apparently it has a shit ton of puzzles and cryptic stuff in it. And as someone who already isn't the biggest fan of finding secrets, which is ironic considering I do 100% videos sometimes, I just think, I don't know, it doesn't sound like it's something that I would enjoy very much. <laughs> Alright, final fight time. So, most dangerous enemies, as you can probably guess, are going to be the werewolves and the biomechs in the background because they shoot lasers and clog the screen up with projectiles. Hello. That was cool. Watch out for the sniper. There's another mini mech. Go away. Okay. And we have the cannon, so let's use that on the canoe. I think there's gonna be like three or four canoes, but actually it gets pretty insane. But as long as you're on top of killing all the sniping enemies, and you'll be fine. Yeah, there's two more. Kill the clears. Okay, and I think one got stuck. Yeah, it did. What? It didn't go behind the wall. The fuck is that? Oh, yeah, I also forgot this part. This part exists. Yeah, so you're having a nice little time, then all of a sudden these clears try to push you out of your hiding spot. Pretty effectively, I might add. 
And now you're over here. They're basically here to push you into that reptiloid, but since all the walls are already destroyed, it didn't really work out as planned. Plus, I knew about them already, so part of the suspense is over. <laughs> I'll use a shotgun. Just to finish him off. Okay, health and armor is looking pretty good, but you know what? It could be better. Sorry, what? What's trying to attack me right now? No idea. Let's just grab the health. Oh, it's a kamikaze. Okay. Uh, we should have all the secrets except for the last one. And there's a reason why I saved that super health, if you couldn't tell. The cannonballs I legit did save for this fight, though, just because those canoons are actually very... destructive, if you leave them unattended. Yeah, there's only three of them, but they do a lot of damage. But here's the real kicker. You get a final fight. Like a real, real final fight. Oh yeah, as well as a bunch of these stupid little mini mechs that like to kill you. Yeah, so the main goal of this fight really is just to kill the mini-mechs whenever they appear. And there's quite a few of them, as you can tell. Okay, you need to die. You two... Four actually need to die. Okay. Make that five. Another one. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother melee and the Nars. I'll just kill them. Okay, then the final stretch.
Yeah, that combat encounter is actually very brutal. Also very well done, though. I mean, kind of towards the tail end of it, it ends in sort of a whimper where it's just like, oh, here's like a few clears and then like one canoe, but everything else is just like insane. So, yeah, I'm happy with that fight. Feels really good. Very rewarding to beat, and I'm missing quite a few kills. Don't know where they are, but also kind of don't care. So, you know what? I think it's time that we end the level. And there it is. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace.